Caught on camera, a new crime alert. Thieves with a new target. Cell phone stores throughout the area. The thefts leaving authorities wondering where they'll hit next. Good evening to you. I'm Corey Stark. And I'm Lauren Traeger. Sam is off tonight. The cell phone thieves have hit five stores now across four cities. And our Russell Kinsaw joins us live from one of those stores that has been targeted. Russell? Yeah, look at behind me. A worker was just here within the hour and put some plywood over that front door where the glass was broken out. There's still some glass there on the, the entryway. And then here's some pieces of that front door right here. It was broken into last night. So each time this trio of thieves, they use a, a rock of some sort or a landscaping stone. They break a window, they get in, they get out, gone in less than 60 seconds. The latest victim, a T-Mobile store in Crystal City. It is a very scary world we're in because it is getting closer to home and people are just getting braver and braver. I don't think there's going to be any consequences. Thieves busted through the glass on the front door to get in and steal cell phones from this store last night. A couple of weeks ago, the band of phone thieves hit this Verizon store a couple of miles away in Festus. Take a look at the surveillance video of that break in. The thieves are wearing hoodies and gloves. Impossible to tell who they are. They grab display cases and are out of the store in just 30 seconds. I would definitely think this is something they've done before. Um, they've done some research into it to figure out how to get in, get out as quick as possible and out of the area before officers have time to respond to the scene. In the last two weeks, groups of thieves have busted out windows and stolen cell phones at stores in Crystal City, Festus, Sullivan and two cell phone stores in DeSoto. Detectives are comparing notes to try to figure out who's behind these crimes. Law abiding citizens think something needs to change to stop the crimes. It's really sad. Um, just really points out how much people need Jesus, especially in this town. So the stores could check their records to see which phones were, were, were stolen and they can deactivate those phones. It's believed that the thieves are counting on the stores to have incomplete records and that some phones don't get deactivated and they can take those, turn them around for some quick cash. Live in Crystal City, Russell Kinsall, News 4.